Good morning. Just letting the dogs out. And I thought I would vlog. Forgot to turn the alarm off. So sometime this week, <laughs> maybe this weekend, I'm going to film my cruelty-free favorites video and I've decided that I'm gonna start doing it monthly. I'll talk about that in the video. But I was thinking maybe I should do as well in cruelty-free favorites, like at the end, talk about stuff I don't like or I hate. Like, for instance, um, the Yes to Carrots Cucumber uh, Makeup Removing Wipes. I used them last night. Let me see if I... Oh, God said, let there be light, and there was light. Um, <laughs> they're in, like peeling really bad right here. Every time I use them in the morning, my face starts peeling, and I use them, and then I moisturize, and I don't know why I'm still using them. I think it's just the point that I spent money on them that I'm like, I will use these till they are gone. Um, but yeah, do you guys want to see that? Like things I hate too in the cruelty-free faves like video? I guess you should just start calling it my monthly faves. I don't know. We'll talk about that in the video. What do you guys think? Because I mean, like anything I buy is going to be cruelty free, right? So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, uh, I still so tired from last night, but at the same time, I feel gross. Like if that makes sense, because I just Ralph got scared, so now he's beating down the door. This is what he does. He gets scared, and then he almost kicks the door in. Look at Berber. I don't know if you guys can see her out there. Just sunning. What did you just take? I thought you were scared. Busting the door down. Now he won't come in. Well, oh my God. Come on. We, I swear. We talk about getting a doggy door, but it's like, I don't feel like I have like a micro man. See? But. Ralph is extremely allergic to bees, okay? Like he's already, you know what? I'll just, I've talked about it so many times. I'm gonna insert a few pictures of what happens when one bee stings him. Okay, so that was when he was little. He wasn't even a year old yet, okay? And that happened. He doesn't have a lot of common sense I guess like Amber does and he goes outside and if he sees a bee or a wasp which the vet said like she, because he had that reaction to one sting she worries that next time it could be worse I don't know like they said they talked about maybe once he was full size which we need to talk to him about get about getting like a dog EpiPen I guess that's a thing but he doesn't have common sense so he goes outside and he start he starts chasing bees and trying to eat them and wasps and pissing them off. So like when they go outside, like yesterday they were outside for probably 30 minutes. I basically sat at the bar and like had all the windows open and was watching. Because if I see him do like I, I feel crazy because like Amber can just go outside and be a dog and do whatever. But Ralph, like, he's such a mess, you guys. He is the biggest scaredy cat baby. Yes, you are. So he can be like if okay like if there's a stranger or someone he doesn't know comes in the house then he's a completely different dog he is no scaredy cat but like something like a butterfly lands on him he's he runs like he's so ridiculous but when it counts he's brave but um we said for halloween he needs to be the cowardly lion like i want to order him one of those lion manes i don't know maybe we'll do a wizard of oz theme this year but so yeah, he gets freaked out, um, and I feel like I can't just let him go out and be a dog sometimes because I have to watch because of the bee thing. During the fall, it's not that bad. I do have to check on them because he also likes to dig, and one day he almost dug into my stepsister's yard who's next door, which would, which would be fine, but like if her dog came under the fence, then Amber would go crazy because Amber doesn't get along with her little dog, Griffin, um, but they're just... I mean, like, it's not okay to dig to the neighbor's yard either. So I feel like I have to watch him a lot. I'm thinking once we move and we have a much bigger yard than we have, it won't be so bad. And usually when they go outside, I go outside with them and we play ball and do all that stuff. But the grass is still gross and soggy, which is insane because it hasn't rained for a couple days now. But I'm hoping it will, like, clear up maybe this week. I can mow because the grass is growing so long. Anyway, that's my morning so far. So, hi. Hi, 
friends. Hi, friends. Hunters watching House Hunters. This is how she watches TV. Burr -burr. Doesn't it feel good? He's just silly. So I was trying to figure out. I started moving stuff into this cabinet from the bookshelf in Justin's office. And I've been like staring at the empty bookshelves like what am I going to put in here? I think I'm going to go ahead and buy like two baskets for each side to fill the bottom too. Because like I said whenever we like either like to put the dogs toys in for now or when we have kids like there'll be baskets down there. Um, for now I can put like our blankets in there that we keep down here. And then I just have to fill six shelves. Um... I don't know, I'm just trying to take my time because I just don't want to put like anything in there and I don't want to just like fill it up right away, if that makes sense. I don't know, I'm really crazy about stuff like this. But I'm just sitting here thinking about it all day long. Like, what am I gonna do? Um, when Justin gets home tonight though, we're gonna go buy the th things for up here that like secure it to the walls so that it can't, um, like if a kid pulls on it or the dogs pull on it, it can't fall on them. We have some on like every single bookshelf. This one came with something. I'll show you. And Justin started screwing them in, right? But unfortunately, because we have molding down here for the floors and stuff, this won't butt up to the wall like it should for that kind. So, oh, we're going to have to find a different kind. I've just been sitting here like, what can I put in here? I don't know. I'm super crazy about like home decor and stuff. It took me forever when we bought this. Well, we bought this bookshelf when we bought the house. And um, I, I already had cookbooks and stuff to put in it. And I knew I wanted to put my mom's teapots in something, but it's taken a long time for me to fill it up. I'm so crazy, y'all. I'm just so particular about stuff. I'm kind of going stir crazy right now. I'm like super bored. I went out earlier and I got pulled over <laughs> because my tags are one of my, which is my inspection and then my, my registration, my regist, what's going on with my eye makeup? My registration was out and in Texas, they just changed it to where before we had two stickers and I know in some states you guys only have one sticker. But we had a registration sticker and we had an inspection sticker and the dates rarely ever match up for those um <clears throat> but they made it the law that basically we're going down to one sticker well my inspection sticker lasted like a lot like three months past when my registration sticker was due so it was like i was gonna have to pay for an inspection sticker before i needed it I don't know. And they're making like a 90 day grace period for it. But Justin said it, it, the, the like law is crazy. Like the grace period doesn't start for like a year or something bizarre. I don't know. It's so it makes no sense at all. But I was like, just whatever. And I've needed to go get it done. I'm getting it done tomorrow. So I went out. Um, my I didn't get pulled over for the crazy thing is like he didn't pull me over for my registration. He pulled me over for my inspection, which usually they give you a 10 day grace period on. Usually you don't get pulled over for just stickers like that. Um, that's like a secondhand offense kind of usually have to be doing something else. But the police were like, I don't know what was going on in the area I was in, but there was like five police cars um, pulling over a bunch of people. You know, I like that's my bad. You know, I totally understand they're just doing their job. My dad's a police officer. I know how hard and frustrating it can be when people think that they're just out to get you or whatever when they're just doing their job. So I was totally understanding. I explained to him that I was super, like, honestly, I was super confused and I was being cheap. And so he, he let me go. He's like, just make sure you go do this. So I didn't get a ticket. Thank God. But I was just honest. I was like, honestly, like I still had three months left on my inspection and I kept trying to renew my, not my, I kept trying to renew my, I had three months left on my inspection and I kept trying to renew the other, my registration and it, and it wouldn't let me, even though my inspection's still good. And I was just like, I'm so confused by all of this. And he was just like, it's fine. Just take care of it. So. I'm not going out again. Well, we're going, we're going to the hardware store tonight. Hopefully we don't have like run into the same. Well, I guess you would understand like, but we're going to go do it tomorrow morning. Um, 
the place we go is like super cheap, but every time I go in there, they try to tell me some things like I always get in arguments. It's like they, one time they told me like I marked, I think it was on my Mustang. I marked, I was going to this place because the oil changes are so cheap and um, Justin used to know someone that worked there. But I literally marked my filter, right? Because I, I, they are super crazy, especially if you're a woman and you go in there and they're like, oh, this is your air filter. You need to replace it. This is your such and such filter. It's really easy to check that on your car. I marked it and they brought out an old, I literally had just got a new one and they brought out this old like dusty one and they're like, look at your air filter. You need to change it. And I was like, mm -mm, honey, that's not my air filter. And if you took my air filter out, you better go put it right back in there because mine has a Sharpie mark on it. And anyways, every time I go to that place or any place, they sit there and they try to hustle me because I'm a woman. I actually do know a little bit about cars. I'm not claiming I'm like an expert or anything, but I know enough to know that that wasn't my fucking air filter and my air filter wouldn't be that dirty. And so I hate going because I get so pissed off and angry when they treat me like that. Because I'm a woman, they think they can hustle me or get something past me. And they do it to men, too. But it's just, like, such a problem. I don't know if they just assume I'm going to be, like, this stupid, dumb blonde that just is like, do whatever, charge my card, whatever. And so usually I get so pissed off that Justin will just go with me or he'll go do it because I just can't even with those people. I get really agitated really fast, really loud, and really bitchy. So, Yeah. We're gonna go do that tomorrow morning and then I'll drop him off at work. So, cause they open before he even goes into work. But I'm so freaking bored right now. Are you being a nosy neighbor? You being a nosy neighbor? He loves watching the backyard. We're at Home Depot. When I was little, I used to call it the Depot. Did you know, did you say it right when you were little? Your hair is doing some amazing things right now. Home Depot. We're gonna look at fans just to get look at something real quick. And then, what are we getting? Bookshelf security? I don't know. We need to make it like a pillowcase though. For, for to like catch it. Over your living room. Yeah. It's like a fan scrubber, but the dust still falls everywhere. I mean, you could clean the dust after it falls, but excited by this fan right now. I just cut Justin off. I don't even know what he's saying. Look at that fan. Oh my god, if we have a little boy, he has to have an astronaut nursery. Part of the refrigerator, and I was like, "This, why do you need that? We're looking at things we can't afford. Dreaming. Dreaming. Maybe we'll win the lottery. Nobody won the lottery the other night. Did they? We can go buy a ticket. Do you want a new fridge? He's very quiet tonight. I love how you're not answering any of my questions. Huh? What was <laughs> Y'all didn't know, but in your refrigerator, you're not actually supposed to keep milk here, even though I say like they show it to stuff that um, it's actually recommended by those like health. What do you call those people that are like food and drug health and governmental I don't know the Food and Drug Administration no I don't know what it is but they recommend you actually keep your milk towards the back for proper cooling to make sure it doesn't get too warm at any point and produce bacteria just a little tidbit meanwhile Justin's making songs on the refrigerator it has what two ice makers why does it need two ice makers don't I don't understand maybe for parties when you need a lot of ice there's the second one. Why are we doing this to ourselves? We can't afford things like this. <laughs> got two. Why are we looking at all this stuff we can't afford? But look, it's got two. You wanted to know what the five thousand dollar refrigerator can do. I want to know. Look, it's got. Look, it's got three spinners to rinse. That is the most expensive washing machine, or not washing machine. What is this called? Dishwasher, Dishwasher I've ever seen in my life. This is five grand. Five point five thousand dollars. Five point five thousand dollars. Don't slam it, Jesus. What is this? Look at this. Is this a freezer? 
Oh, that's interesting. That's kind of cool. I actually like that. You don't like it? What did we come here for? Oh, look at this burner. Oh, whoa. That's so weird. What are we here for? We're home and the puppies are very excited. So excited. Oh my God. Ralph, stop, stop, stop. Oh man. All right. I'm going to end the vlog for the day just because nothing more and more. Nothing else interesting is happening. It's kind of a blah day. I don't know. I'm ready for this weekend. I'm ready to see Cinderella with my grandma and my sister and Katie. I'm very excited about that. I've been wearing this makeup since yesterday. That's gross. I'm going to go shower and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.